Today we're looking at holsters. Okay, um, going to do an overview of different types of holsters, ranging from what you're seeing in front of you here for outside the waistband, I'll say semi-concealed carry competition style holsters to in the waistband carry type of holsters. We're going to start with my first holster. This is by Raven Concealment. This is for an M&P 9 uh, standard size, full size, 4.25 inch barrel with a crimson trace light guard on there. And you can probably see the custom shape there in the light. Um, several years ago, there were only a few companies that were doing holsters like this. The uh, Kydex, or rather big companies that were doing it, Raven was one of them. Um, so I've had this holster for a long time. Uh, when I first got into pistols, um, I did a lot of research on the best holsters for whatever purpose may be. Specifically this one, obviously a personal defense um, handgun set up for personal defense with the light and laser on there. Um, one of the things I read the most was no matter what, you're going to end up with a drawer full of holsters. And I, I said, yeah, right. I'm going to do all the research. I'm going to get the right holster the first time. Um, with that being said, um, there's a lot of holsters on the table next to me here. Uh, some of them I've made because I do that now. Uh, look in the description for links. We'll talk about it in a minute. Um, but basically, uh, you figure out what works best for you, your purposes, your body type, the gun itself. Um, everything's a little different. Um, I actually just remembered I just uh, told a white lie. This was my second holster. My first holster I picked up a uh, Blackhawk Serpa, their cheapest one, maybe $30. It's not even the, the good polymer. It's a cheaper polymer with the uh, trigger lock uh, mechanism. Um, those have gotten a lot of bad press in recent years due to how you have to have your finger over the trigger area to release the lock. Um, I personally believe that's bad negative, well, all negative press is bad, but it's not as big of a problem as some people made it out to be. Uh, when you're drawing from a holster, your finger is going to be over here anyway. That's where the paddle switch was. People who were having negligent or accidental discharges were not drawing their pistol correctly in the first place. Anyway, whole other topic. So I thought, oh, Blackhawk, Tactical, yeah, let's get that. Um, really ended up not liking it at all. It wasn't concealable one bit. Um, it had a uh, paddle mount. Um, the whole thing really sticks out to the side, and it's painfully obvious if you're carrying something outside uh, the waistband, unless you're wearing a huge parka and you're just a marshmallow to begin with. Um, I started then continuing that tactical mindset and uh, discovered Raven Concealment through um, Magpul Ty Dynamics uh, training videos, uh, their pistol video in specific. You just got to do a Google search. What holster was Chris Costa wearing in the Magpul Dynamics videos? Comes up to Raven Concealment um, and then their belts were Aries gear belts. I have one of those too. They're great belts, but this is about holsters today. Um, so anyway, the Raven, I ordered this custom piece. This was all said and done at the time, close to a hundred bucks actually, because I also ordered some more hardware for in the waistband carry. I did not like it at all for in the waistband, so I just took those off and put back on the standard clips there. Um, this is a great holster in my experience, or the style of holster, I should say, is great for um, if you're wearing heavier clothing, um, so it doesn't print as much because this is outside the waistband. You'd have to make sure to be wearing a longer shirt um, before you leave the house or what I do before I leave the house, whatever I'm wearing. I put my arms up over my head, look in the mirror and see if I uh, show my holster at all. Um, typically I don't because I have everything set up to do so. What's nice about this is it's adjustable for the ride height. Right here I have it set up so the gun itself rides higher on the waist. If I put it to these other notches here, it would ride a little bit lower. Um, so wintertime, fall, heavier clothing, if I'm carrying that full-size gun, this style is great. 
It has a curvature to it, so it conforms to the body, um, retains your pistol safely without, um, this would technically be passive retention, just the pressure. Um, when you have your belt tightened down, it adds a little bit more pressure to even just cinching it down here. Put some uh, flex on it like that. Great option. I do highly recommend these for an outside the waistband holster, um, especially if I made it for you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, look at the pretty pictures of ones I've made for people. Nice, right? Cool. Lots of color options, not just black. Anyway, moving on. Um, some other stuff. Here, this is also from Raven. Uh, this is a flashlight holder, holster, uh, with some extra battery doodads on there. They actually call them doodads, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still sell them on their website or not. Um, but again, this is, for me, fall, winter carry. My belt's loaded up using, using that Ares gear belt. Uh, really stiff, uh, able to carry a lot. Otherwise, spring, summer, um, I just have a flashlight in my pocket with a clip. That's also actually from Raven Concealment. Those are actually all the Raven products I own. Um, I'm going to talkly go, talkly, quickly go over competition holsters. Um, this is a competition style holster for USPSA or three gun, uh, limited division. This is for an M and P again. Um, it has that forward cant. It's very open. You can see the, how that's set up there. Here's the tech lock. You can see how far away it is with the drop and offset hanger from the body. This is not a carry holster. This is strictly competition. You would never use this outside of competition. It is not um, practical nor safe to do so. You can see how open it is. It has enough retention to play the games uh, for the sport, but it is not an option for concealed carry, um, everyday carry type of pistol. Okay, um, I'm working on some prototypes of my own for competition style holsters. Um, as that's something that I've been doing, the competition that is, so I want to provide cool products for other competitors, not just plain old boring black styles um, like you mostly see. So competition, totally different story. In another video, I briefly you briefly see my uh, production rig uh, where it's fully enclosed uh, as per the rules. All right, we're sticking with outside the waistband still. Mag pouches. Here's some that I made for my business. As you can see, it's that curved outside the waistband design with the canted belt loops. You can see against the white background there how they're canted to keep that belt tight against the body and squeeze the uh, holster into the body. We have an adjustable retention screw in the middle with a rubber bushing down in there. You can't really see it. Um, this is a double mag pouch for double stack magazines, um, and then single, same thing, adjustable tension, uh, bushing in the side there. Um, I actually don't have the clips on that, I just brought it out for an example. Again, same category over here, outside the waistband, uh, colder weather, bigger clothing, or if you're doing a some sort of tactical type of class. Um, to me, that's where these are best suited. Heavier clothing, colder weather, um, tactical training, uh, competition training. To, if you play uh, in a IDPA, which is um, more defensive shooting style, um, as opposed to USPSA, which is really more racing, or three gun, which is all out drag racing. Um, okay, let's move on. Now we're going to inside the waistband, deep carry. Um, I'm going to try to only spend a few more minutes on this. We're already close to 10 minutes of me rambling, uh, but this is really where I like to spend a little bit more time. Um, when I got a myself a subcompact, slim, single stack 9mm, first holster I bought was this guy, this hybrid style holster where we got nice thick leather. We have the Kydex outer and our belt clips here. What I like about this, conforms to the body, smooth inside, um, again, instead of the harsher plastic. Um, 
it's passive retention again. So when you have that belted on there, your belt actually, again, crimps it on there and gives you some extra pressure on the gun to keep it in place. This is also adjustable for ride height. I can have it deeper. If I put these notches uh, up, it's going to go even deeper into your waistband, even more concealed. Um, this is designed to wear at about three to four o'clock on your hip, if, assuming you're right-handed. So not exactly on your side like a competition holster or duty holster would be, but a little bit behind you. Hence the forward angled cant to get a better grip on the pistol. Um, also, the mag pouch is there, same design. The uh, leather with the kydex form over top and the clips there. Um, so you got a double mag pouch for that single stack nine right there and the holster. Um, this, I used this setup for probably about the better part of a year. Um, and then I really found, believe it or not, uh, travesty here or um, against the rules, whatever you want to call it. I wasn't carrying as much because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get this set up. Um, you basically, I found I had to put the holsters on first on my pants before I put them even on to get it on there correctly. Um, it was just annoying. It added 10 minutes, not maybe not 10 minutes, but too much time to getting ready to go out. And I was opting to not carry it instead of carrying it. Um, so then I started playing around with inside the waistband appendix carry. Uh, first, this holster my friend made for me before he taught me how to make them myself. Um, this The idea with this one is it's a cross draw outside the waistband. I designed it as a driving holster for when driving long periods of time. could have it outside the waistband, um, covered with a shirt on my left hip, cross draw style for driving in the car. Um, he made an adjustable cant for me. And one day I just uh, had to get out of the car real quick when I was wearing this and I just took it out and I tucked it in my waistband, left hand draw, and I realized how simple it really was. It didn't feel like it was digging in, it didn't feel like it was in the way. The modern safeties on the guns, I don't really, you don't have to worry about it going off in that sensitive area. And then so we made our way to a full appendix inside the waistband carry. This is currently my go-to any time that I'm carrying. Um, I love this thing. This is the what I suggest to pretty much everybody now. Not just, again, because I make them now. But this is what has become my go-to carry holster. I love the quick clip design. I just grab it and tuck it right into my pants. Clip it over the belt right over where my appendix used to be. Um... And then uh, good to go. I pair that up currently with a uh, tacky rubber pocket holster for an extra magazine that goes in my left pocket. When it's in the drawer waiting to go, it takes, doesn't take up a lot of room. I can just set them on the counter, or not on the counter, on the dresser when I get home. Just grab, throw this in the pocket, tuck this right in, ready to go. Um, simple off as well if I'm going somewhere that... Either the gun is not allowed or I'm going to a friend's house and I know that we're going to be fine because we're out in the middle of nowhere. Some people may argue with that against that, whatever. Um, you know, I'll just take it out and lock it in my uh, glove box. Quick and easy. This guy is a whole production. You got to get dressed, undressed. It's, it's a big to-do. This has just been amazing for ease of access if you need it on and off when you don't or when you're getting ready to go it's way more comfortable than i ever thought it was going to be and um it's perfectly safe and like anything if you're not used to drawing from the front of your hip on your stomach you just practice 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 like anything practice makes perfect as long as you're safe and doing it correctly now we have a whole array of holsters in front of us there's a lot on the table, but as I just said, the, my go-to right now is this pair right here. Simple pocket holster. I think this is about $15 if you find them on Amazon. This is uh, by DeSanctis. 
Um, and then again, inside the waistband quick clip version, um, I have had requests to make these in a tuckable version. So I'm working on a prototype for that now for one of my friends who's a police officer who requested that. Um, but I just love this big, quick, quick clip. Throw it in. Totally concealable all summer long in a light Under Armour t-shirt, shorts, and a 5'11 tactical belt. Not even a heavy, rigging, uh, heavy rigger belt. Awesome. Um, so that is my experience with holsters. Uh, we're just over 15 minutes, um, but I wanted to make a, my experience with holsters um, with a little bit of plug for the work that I'm now doing. Um, but like I said, I said, when I set out in the pistol journey, I said, oh, I'm just going to get the perfect holster from the get-go. And this is turned into quite the collection, obviously. Um, I know people who have more, but play around see what works best for you um if you have a friend see if you can try well if you have a friend if you have a friend who has a holster like this ask if you can try it on um see how you like it go to the range with them practice with it um you may really like this hybrid style um i really liked it until i finally tried this um this like i said i just love this style now before i was all about this um several different companies make these they're all good practice and what's most comfortable to you that's the name of the game all right so if you have any questions um, leave a comment below i'll try to answer it for whatever reason i haven't been able to answer comments recently on youtube it just doesn't work um, if you really want a question answered or you just want to talk about something you can email me look in the comments or not in the comments in the uh, description below for my website and contact information if you're interested in setting up in order for an inside the waistband holster such as this for your pistol or other styles such as the outside the waistband style um, those links are down there too you can send me an email we can set up a totally custom order or go to my web store and we you can go from there thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later